I'm Jay Wild. I'm a, a failed beef farmer. <laughs> That's what some people say. Although I was born on the farm and, um, you know, we sort of walked amongst the cows as soon as we were able to walk. Never been really committed to farming, but um, when you live on a farm, you become very attached to it and um, you appreciate the value of the place that you occupy. When you live with them and look after them, you realise that they all have personalities, which was why I found it so difficult to use them for, for food. I couldn't sort of disconnect that feeling of having to get the job done from the fact that they were individuals rather than just sort of units of production. <laughs> Taking them to the abattoir, which is what we often did being small farmers, we only had one or two animals to, um, to be slaughtered at any one time. You felt as if you were betraying them because you'd made friends with them, if you like. Looking at Jay and seeing what um, being trapped in this kind of life did to him was quite painful. It was soul destroying, that's how it felt. It was either find new homes or send them to market or the slaughterhouse and that's what I hated to do. That's what I wanted to get away from so um, I was really delighted when they said we'll rehome them for you. We'll, we'll do the work and find places for them to live. Hillside Animal Sanctuary was delighted to be able to offer a permanent home to the entire herd. The calves which have been born at the sanctuary have stayed with their mothers rather than face the trauma of being separated. It's so lovely to see them all still together two years later, just as it should be. It was like uh, being reborn almost to, to find that you could do something different. Jay's amazing and kind gesture has also created a ripple effect with other farms now contacting Hillside to ask if we can take in their cows too. Recently Hillside has been able to take in cows from four other farms. What they've done is really brave. It's like trailblazing. Not everybody's open to change as Catcher and Jay, especially in something as ingrained as the meat industry and the farming industry. Jay effectively gave up 40 to 50,000 pounds in income, which he would have received for the cattle had he sent them to slaughter. You know, it's for the better of everybody, you know, even, you know, especially in, 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 in recent years where we hear report after report about the climate. You know, it is really trying to lead by example. I've got that kind of um, mindset where I can't ignore things. If I know something, I have to do something about it. It's an absolutely sort of dream outcome that, that they can all stay together and live out the rest of their lives. We were very, very pleased. The ones who were still living on the farm were going to be saved, literally, and uh, enjoy just being cows.